At a storied and acclaimed university like Cambridge, what could break the calm of a sleepy Monday evening but a trivia contest? Better yet, a quiz show final on national TV with the home team led by an unlikely Canadian star. He's just a really kind of quirky, cool Cambridge guy. Hello, my name is Eric Monkman. I'm from Oakville, Canada, and I'm studying economics. Monk Mania is front page news here in Cambridge, and tonight it's a packed house here at Wolfson College as their team takes on a crew from Oxford in the final. Okay, fingers on the button. This year's contest began Australia? several months ago, and Monkman quickly made a name for himself across Britain. Zero. Discworld. Blunt. With those Piano? unique facial expressions and his earnest demeanor, not to mention his seemingly endless knowledge. Olson Monkman. Christina? Yeah. The program's called University Challenge, like Jeopardy meets Reach for the Top, a quiz show with university students as contestants and questions that seem impossible to most. What name is now given to the object discovered on January the 1st, 1801 by the Italian astronomer Giovanni Piazzi? Also Monkman. Ceres? Ceres is correct, yes. Monkman's smarts have earned him an army of fans tweeting messages with the hashtag Monkmania. We now know God walks amongst men, one said, or I think I love Monkman more than I love my own children. I mean, it's like watching an Olympic athlete. He's Justin really Yang from Vancouver does. happens to be one of Monkman's teammates, competing for Cambridge's Wolfson College, making it all the way to tonight's final match. You know anyone like to bust Wolfson? Wolfson Monkman. Vienna? The crowd Wolfson followed Vienna along with correct. every question. Without Monkman himself on hand, he's staying away from the spotlight for now. There is absolutely no shame in being runners-up. In the end, though, disappointment. On screen, the other team got the trophy, presented by the famed scientist Stephen Hawking. Monkman coming so close to the title, while proving fame can come in unlikely ways. The magic flute. Correct. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Cambridge.